I think the way we Indians have adapted Chinese food for our tastes is commendable. Look at this variety in the cuisine and it's all in one massive thali. everyone and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video I am taking you with me for some delicious desi Chinese food. I am here at Masaledar by Mini Punjab in Thane. I am here to check out the biggest desi Chinese thali in India and trust me when I say big I am not kidding this is massive. Masaledar by Mini Punjab is famous for their Dara Singh Thali which is a massive North Indian Thali and this is a new addition to their menu and it actually takes two people to get this Thali on your table. In this thali, you get two soups, six appetizers, four main course dishes, two rice, two noodles variety, two accompaniments, five sauces, and one dessert. So here is the entire thali, and it's just impossible for me to get the whole thali in a frame with myself because this is so big. And the amount of variety I can see, I think all of my desi Chinese cravings are going to get fulfilled in one go. Now this is a thali which is of course not for one person. You come and you share so it can be shared by four or five people. Everybody's taste buds are probably going to get taken care of when you're enjoying this thali. So taking the vegetarian thali so that's what I'm going to be telling you about and in the end of this video I'm also going to leave what you can expect in the non-veg thali. There are two soups in this thali. One is a vegetarian manchao soup and one is a sweet corn soup. Even the soups are shareable. Try the manjao soup now. For me, manjao soup is a favorite, especially in cooler months or the rainy season because it's got that ginger garlic, uh, strong ginger garlic flavor. Manjao soup and fried noodles inside it is the way I like to have it. Fried noodles are one of the accompaniments. There's just something about this combination that I absolutely love. The other soup in this is the sweet corn soup. It's got a little bit of corn and I think a lot more French beans and carrots. I'm going to be trying the starters and the first one that I always get attracted to is honey chilli potato. So here the potato is chopped up like fries, it's not chunky and uh, it's looking really really good. It's kind of a little crispy, it's got that nice um, hot, very slightly hot and sweet taste. Now let's try the veg crispy. Try the crispy pieces on its own first. Mm. Fresh crispy here is very very different. It is not tossed in that red sauce but it's instead tossed in a green sauce which is with coriander and I think a little bit of chilli as well. So interestingly in their sauces they have a red chesmon sauce and a green chesmon sauce. The green chesmon sauce is something that I haven't seen. It's a green chilli based sauce. Now I'm trying the spring roll. I think the spring roll has bits of paneer inside. It's a vegetable stuffed spring roll and not a noodle stuffed one. And you get four pieces of spring roll. So if you're splitting the thali amongst four people, each one will get one spring roll. This is something that I've never tried before. This is a veg lollipop. Normally I see all of my non-vegetarian friends eat a chicken lollipop but Vegetarian lollipop is something which is new for me and the best part is the stick that it comes on is actually kale. It's sugar cane. Mm. Outer part is crispy and crunchy and how like every bite there's a crunch and inside the stuffing is really like properly mashed and almost uh, kind of like creamy and there's a bit of cheesy flavor there's garlic potato it's actually mashed paneer which is why it is so i don't know what's the right word for it if you know then please leave it in the comments now i'm going to be trying paneer chili which is my favorite 
desi chinese starter so this actually doesn't have that much of capsicum and i kind of look forward to capsicum in a paneer chili dish but it is super super tasty it is that typical garlicky flavor and uh, a slightly hot and sweet kind of sauce and there are bits of chili in it which keep giving you that that sort of feel but it's yum we also have momos i think the filling of the momos again is a little bit on the creamier side next thing that i'm trying is crackling spinach or crispy spinach now if you're a true desi chinese lover then you'll know this dish it is something that is so so simple but so tasty spinach with a crispy feel and it's got that uh, sweet flavor it's got a hot and sweet flavor actually depends in different places do their flavor differently so this one is not really sweet it's more on the salty side the other accompaniment that they have is fried noodles and that is something which can go on top of any um gravy it can go with manchow soup like i showed you or you can just dip it in some szechuan sauce and enjoy another side dish that they have is chinese yam it's basically fried noodles tossed with different sauces with a little bit of capsicum mm its typical flavor is that of sour and sweet and that is what i love about chinese bhel so far i have thoroughly enjoyed the chinese bhel it is so so good i'm going to be trying the main course dishes and first i think i'm just going to be trying them on its own that is the thing about desi chinese like if you're having noodles and if they are flavored enough you don't really need a gravy with them trying the malaysian noodles these are flat and slightly more broad this is a very subtle flavor to them it's not overpowering now i'm trying the burnt garlic hakka noodles fried rice and hakka noodles is something that i thoroughly enjoy it's not too much of a flavor it's that subtle burnt garlic feel and i quite like that i think the flavor of garlic has just gone deep inside this now i'm going to be trying the szechuan rice rice tossed with szechuan sauce and topped with lots of spring onion that's how i describe this it's not over spicy the flavor of the sauce is not overpowering but it's just perfect they have something new in their menu called chopper rice chopper rice is something that you'll find at the smaller chinese stalls and it's a very typical street side chinese dish it's almost like the rice is tossed with a little bit of green chili paste and not too much the veggies inside are nice and crisp i quite like chopper rice now i'm going to be trying their gravies so the first one that i'm trying is obviously manchurian manchurian and hakka noodles is a, such a classic combination and such an amazing one now i'm trying the exotic veggies and black pepper sauce this has cabbage broccoli carrots zucchini a lot of different veggies and i'm going to be trying this with the malaysian noodles i think the veggies feel really really good with the noodles the gravy does have a slightly hot after taste now i'm going to be trying the paneer in szechuan sauce i love a good szechuan gravy in fact szechuan rice a bit of noodles szechuan sauce and fried noodles on top that's a dish in itself if you know the name of the dish that i'm talking about then leave that in the comments i honestly don't know how hot this combination is going to be but let's try it mm. not too hot not too spicy i think a good big chunky piece of paneer tones down everything they have mushroom in cambodian sauce and i'm not the biggest fan of mushrooms but i do want to try the cambodian sauce because this is something new to me it's got a coconutty feel so it's kind of like in between thai and chinese but pretty good now this is a gravy which is for the chopper rice i know i tried it individually before but now let's try it with this gravy so normally if you eat at a street side chinese stall you'll get chopper rice and this gravy it's kind of like a hot garlic sauce at least it's feeling like that but let me taste and tell you mm this is the feels i think i love the chopper rice over here i think 
that I've not really eaten too much outside, but I love it. So they have red Cheswan sauce and green Cheswan sauce, and um, I've never seen a green Cheswan sauce, so I'm really intrigued. So I'm trying it. Mmm. It's almost got a nutty feel to it. I think there's peanut in it, but it's not that spicy. I think for me, I prefer the red chess one sauce. Now this is a thali that you can share amongst four to five people. So think of it like a buffet on your table and you just keep taking whatever you like. It's a limited portion. It's not an unlimited thali, but the quantity is sufficient for four to five people. And they've taken care of a lot of things. For example, the pieces of starters, each one can get one. The quantity of rice, the quantity of gravy, the variety. So if somebody doesn't want rice, there's like two different kinds of noodles and vice versa. And even in terms of sauces and gravies, I think there's quite a bit to enjoy in this. After you've savored the whole thali here, you get dessert. And the dessert here is one of my personal favorites. For me, sizzling brownie with ice cream is a very, very early restaurant memory. I remember getting into a restaurant and waiting for that sizzling brownie platter to come in. And that with the hot chocolate sauce on top and ice cream is such an enjoyable dessert. I mean, not just me, I remember my family enjoying it, my friends enjoying it. And I'm sure you also have your memories of a good sizzling brownie. Make sure you leave them in the comments below. Mm. I like that it's topped with nuts because everything is so sweet on that platter kind of breaks that but I have lost count of the number of times I have burned my tongue because I haven't been able to wait enough time before getting a bite of that brownie let me know if that has happened with you as well and let me know if you're actually going to come here and enjoy this thali this is as of now the biggest Chinese thali in India and it costs Rs 1500 and it can be shared it is a limited thali but the portions are sufficient for everybody to be satiated and full and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then you know what you have to do hit that like button share this video with all of your friends and family with whom you'd like to visit this place and subscribe to my channel for more and I will see you in my next video bye